Welcome to Spin Town, everyone. I am here on my parkour server, Spin Core, watching my senior moderator, Wesley, or Hazma, as his Minecraft name is, <laughs> speedrun a course with one of his friends. This is the second co-op course that I designed for this server, and I didn't do all the designing. I did 90% of it. Hazma did two checkpoints. Uh, the first couple checkpoints here are pretty basic and simple, just to give you the idea what this course is all about. Uh, basically, you help one person get through the checkpoint, and then that person you help get through will then stop and help you um, by using a bunch of redstone triggers and stuff like that. Although, not all of them are redstone, uh, use redstone triggers, so most of them do, though. Uh, this one right here uh, takes advantage of a little bit of a Minecraft glitch where you can get inside of doors. Uh, once you get the first person to the top, the other one has to glitch inside the bottom door. And then you have to hit the trap door to let them all the way up. But there's a, a lot of glitches that we take advantage of throughout the entire server. So that's one reason we don't update this server a lot. Because when we update it, we have to go through and test everything again. And make sure they that it still works. Because they fix glitches and with each update. So you know, a lot of times if something they got fixed, we have to go through and replace it with something new. So I don't always update every time My uh, Mojang updates Minecraft, just because it's so much work to go through and retest everything. Uh, so yeah, people who complain as to why we're like a couple versions behind uh, Mojang, that's why. Uh, that's never going to change. Uh, we'll probably just maybe update every two or three versions of Minecraft. It'll never be every time Mojang updates. But that one that Wesley and his friend just did, that's one that Wesley created himself. I really didn't have really much say in that at all. I, aside from aesthetics, uh, it was all Wesley. This one right here, there's actually a way to cheat it. And the first time they tried to do a speed run, uh, I saw that they were cheating it. Um, it's a design flaw. And I was like, hey guys, don't do that. I'll fix that so you can't do that later. For now, just do it the way it was intended so I don't have other people trying to cheat it. But they did find a way to cheat this one a little bit. Uh, now Wesley's just kind of going to have to run back and forth till his health regenerates. He's got to use the lava again to get up to the next platform. But, yeah, so next time you guys come onto the server, there will be a couple things fixed with the pink course, uh, this checkpoint being one of them. Uh, it'll still be there. It's just I'm going to have to fix a couple little minor details, which I'm not even going to talk about so, I don't, so other people don't try to do them. This one right here is a lot harder than Wesley makes it look. Hitting that button as you're falling on the very bottom of that platform is fucking hard. <laughs> uh, he, I think he's just practiced it so much he's gotten better at it because he struggled with it when I first made it. Um, his teammate kind of screwed up right there. Now he's got to do it again. Um, yeah, but once his teammate gets up there, he just lowers that block down so Wesley can jump on it. Uh, <laughs> the next one is one of two that is going to push the player into lava or crush them with redstone uh, with this one right here you just gotta try to outrun this wall as soon as your teammate removes it you gotta run through before it comes back and pushes you into a lava wall and then once you're through you help your teammate by hitting a button for him this one right here is a bit glitchy and I was going to replace it but I don't think I am now but you gotta hit those buttons uh, altern alternate hitting those two buttons there because every other block is controlled by a different button and the other person has to kind of time it and run through without before they get crushed to death. It's really not that hard, but it's glitchy because the pistons pull you through the wall on the left. And I had, that's why I had to open up the back side of that uh, checkpoint. So when it pulls you through, the player can walk out. Otherwise, they're trapped on the inside. Uh, but I think I'm just going to leave it like that. It can be a little glitchy. I don't think it's that big of an issue. This one right here is pretty cool because both players have to time their jumps at the same time. One of them is hitting a button, and then the other one has to click on a minecart that is exposed when that button is hit. Uh, they've already done it once, but now one player is through, and then they have to do it again so the next one can get through. That's why there's a button on each side of that block right there. And, you know, this is probably the most I've seen them struggle on this one. They, they usually get that one real quick. This one is the one... We tried doing a speed run for earlier, and they took like 10 minutes trying to get through it. it. It totally stumped them. This time, they get it on the first try, and they save a ton of time. The reason it's so hard is there are three triggers the one player has to hit. They have to hit a pressure plate, a button, and uh, a string on a hook, all at the same time to open the doorway so somebody can go through. And getting that timing just right is really hard because there's a really 
all those things have to be triggered, and the player has to run through that door before any one of those things closes. So, yeah, I was really surprised they got that on the first try, and that's why this is going to be a good speed run, because they save so much time on that checkpoint right there. This one right here is uh, one that I like. I, I came up with this idea of having uh, a giant wall that you can see through divide the players, one of them having to run down on the left to hit pressure plates that make places for the person on the right to jump on. And then uh, halfway down, or actually a little over halfway down, the players have to switch roles. The person on the right is the one hitting the pressure plates for the one on the left. And the reason I had to make them switch roles, obviously, is because if I just left the pressure plates on the left, there's nothing stopping both players from just cheating and going down the left side. It wouldn't be co-op at that point. They can just jump and do regular parkour. But by having them switch roles you know, at the halfway point or further on down, there's no way to just cheat it and go down one side. They have to use teamwork to get through this. And, you know, again, this what this course is all about. It's all about co-op. And this is the second co-op course I designed. The first one is the reg course, and it's on the other side of the server. It's on the far left. And that one allows for one person to run on the parkour, and the person that's helping them can be a spectator. They can help out from the viewing platform by hitting triggers and stuff that creates parkour and creates jumps for the player on the course. So if you're not very good at parkour, you can still do one of these co-op courses because all you got to do is watch, basically, and hit buttons for your friend. Um, this one's more of a puzzle than parkour. You have a giant wall of buttons you have to hit in a specific sequence to lower this guy one block at a time uh, through the ground before he gets crushed to death. So if you don't hit the buttons in the right sequence, you can't do it. And if you do it too slow, the player gets crushed. And once he gets to the very bottom, he drops onto a block. And Oh, I did not get through the door in time. So TP to one of them, and hopefully I don't kill them. <laughs> but you can see the blocks they drop onto, and then they do a little parkour up to this part. And Wesley jumps out, or his friend jumped out the top, landed on some slime to bounce up. You didn't get to see that uh, because I didn't get through the door in time, but... Yeah, this one right here, um, me and Wesley had a lot of fun testing. We did some speed runs of it and testing, and once we proved that it was possible, we kept speeding up the redstone to make it harder and harder and just redoing it because it was fun. And honestly, we can still make this go a lot faster uh, because if you watch them right here, they went through this so fast that even after they're both up there, they have to wait on this door to open. So I could speed this up by another three, maybe four seconds, and it'd still be possible. And I might do that at some point. Uh, I, I just haven't got around to messing with it here uh, yet because I got other things I need to fix on this server before I uh, <laughs> start making it even harder. But that's a lot of fun. Uh, I uploaded the speed run me and Wesley did of that checkpoint. And you can go to the SpinCore website, which I'll put a link in the description to. If you want to watch that video, I'll have it embedded in a post there. Um, this one is another one that Wesley designed himself. Um, it's pretty hard. <laughs> you have to have both players hit a button while you're kind of in midair, and I am not very good at that, hitting those little buttons while you're trying to parkour. Yeah, I, my accuracy uh, <laughs> is just not that good. That's probably one of the reasons I'm not great at PvP. Um, I, my accuracy in terms of like trying to hit one the player's hitbox um, in like a really fast, uh, efficient way. I think that's where I struggle uh, with PvP more than anything because I think uh, your total click time, uh, your you know clicks per seconds is overrated. But on this checkpoint right here at the end, the first player to go through has the option of leaving his teammate and screwing him over and finishing without him. Or he can step on that plate and let him through as well. I, I, I love that I added that right there, and it's already been taken advantage of by one player. He got to the very end, got through, and finished, and totally screwed over his teammate uh, and just left him there. There was no way for his teammate to finish. He was totally screwed and had to start over with somebody else. Uh, it cracked me up. That guy had to be so pissed off. I know I would have been, but yeah, if you uh, think you have some parkour skills, come on over to Spin Core. Uh, you don't have to have a friend. Most of the courses you can do solo, but if you have a friend, you, we have two co-op courses. Give them a shot. Uh, I would say the difficulty is pretty hard for both of them, especially the pink one. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Monday. Spin out.